want to get to our second big, big KPRC2 investigate story, the battle over the new Hobby Airport concessions contract. And here's the bombshell. Local chef Chris Shepard's name was in some of the bid paperwork, but he knew nothing about it. Only on two, Mario Diaz has reaction from the chef and city council members. Mario. Keith and Daniela, this shocking development along with Shepard's own comments to KPRC2 investigates are generating questions about the winning bidder's proposal being cooked. I find it questionable, uh, and, and that's the reason why I'm tagging it, and, and that's why I did tag it. Another day and more questions on the food fight at Hobby Airport. After this statement from renowned award-winning Houston chef Chris Shepard to KPRC2 Investigates, quote, I am not the culinary consultant for Arius, nor am I involved with them in any other capacity. Now, why is this a big deal? Because Arius won a lucrative bid for Hobby Concessions, claiming in its pitch to the city that it had Shepard on board. Shepard admitting, I did have preliminary conversations with them, but I never entered into an agreement with them. Shepard is now trying to figure out why Arius used his name as leverage, and Shepard's lawyers are also involved. Arius, through a spokesman, admits there was no contract, stating, quote, there is nothing in writing as his role would be formalized following Arias' selection and approval of the contract. I love Papa Do's. I love Papa Cito. We did reach out to the mayor's office regarding Shepard's comments, specifically asking the mayor if he has concerns over the proposal by Arias, which appears to have been misleading. The mayor's communications director responded in writing, stating, while there appears to have been conversations between the parties, the city of Houston was not privy to the discussions. This was a competitive bid process that was fair and clean. Here's what council members are saying. We begin with Mary Nan Huffman. It is concerning when you learn this isn't true. I don't think we should take a vote on it. Mike Knox adds, I'm not happy with the appearance of deception by the areas group, so we'll see what happens next week. Amy Peck says, I am very concerned that the procurement of this contract could have been made with information that was incorrect. If this information was used as part of the procurement, it should be redone. Michael Kubosh tells us, I think we need to disallow areas based on the lies by saying this award-winning chef was on their team. While Robert Gallego says, we shouldn't vote on it if the scoring was skewed by this. Now, I did reach out to every city of Houston council member regarding this 11th hour development involving Shepard's non-involvement. Only the five you saw had the appetite to respond with official statements. The hobby vote is set for next Wednesday. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigate.